Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that we got from Canadian Mathematical Olympiad 2021. In this problem, we have A1, A2 up to AN as positive real numbers. N is an integer greater than or equal to 2. And we know sum of AI for A is equal to 1 to N is equal to 2 to the power of N minus 1. We want to find the minimum possible value that the expression that you see here will get. Before moving to the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. To be able to solve this problem, we are going to use AMGM inequality. For x1 up to xn, the arithmetic mean or AM is equal to x1 plus x2 up to xn over n, and the geometric mean of these numbers x1 up to xn is equal to nth root of x1 x2 up to xn. We know the equality happens when we have x1 is equal to x2 up to xn. Now let's talk about the solution. To be able to solve this problem with am gm inequality, we are going to add n and then remove n from the expression. Instead of adding n, we are going to divide n into n terms. Each one is 1 and then we are going to have 1 plus a1 over 1 instead of just a1 and then 1 plus a2 over 1 plus a1 instead of just a2 over 1 plus a1 and so on and so forth and then at the end we need to remove n from the expression now we have an expression and we are going to simplify it the expression that we have has n terms let's assume that these n terms are n separate terms and we have some of them this is basically means we are going to have arithmetic mean times n. So let's do that. And instead of writing the whole expression, we are going to just write n times a m, which is arithmetic mean again. At the end, we have minus n. Now remember we have a m is equal to or greater than g m. If each term here is an x i, then we can simplify this and write it n times a m minus n is greater than the g m of these values, which is the nth square of each of these terms multiplied by n. At the end, we need to have minus n again. So on the left hand side, we have what we need. On the right hand side, on the other hand, we have n times nth root of a few numbers. Note that the top of the first term can be cancelled out by the bottom of the second term. We can apply the same rule for other terms. At the end, we are going to have top of the last term over 1. Now remember, we had a1 plus a2 plus a3, so on and so forth, up to a n is equal to 2 to n minus 1. So we are going to do that. And then if we do so, then on the left hand side, we have the expression that we want. And on the right hand side, we have n times nth root of 2 to n minus 1 plus 1. And then at the end, we have minus n again. We can cancel out the nth root with 2 to n. Then we are going to have 2 times n minus n. And this is actually n. So the minimum possible value that our expression can take is n. And that's our answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.